Hello everyone, so welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be filming a very exciting book haul because I have lots of beautiful books to show you and I'm very excited, so let's get into it. Warning, it is like 2am so I am a little delirious, but it'll be a fun time. So I have categorised my books as always. So the first category is Book of the Month books. So Book of the Month is sponsoring this video, love them. If you don't know, they are a super popular and fast growing online book service for readers. And I get a lot of amazing books through this service. So yeah, it's a subscription service and basically how it works is the Book of the Month team vets hundreds of books each month. And every month you as the reader can choose from their curated selection of new and early release book titles. And that means you leave the researching up to the Book of the Month team and you can spend less time researching and more time reading. And the Book of the Month team is passionate about promoting new and emerging authors and helping readers discover new books that they love. And they definitely succeed in that because I've discovered lots of fun books through the service, lots of new authors that I love. So really, really appreciate Book of the Month. So basically every month there are five to seven selections. And I also love that Book of the Month is completely risk-free. So if you're not vibing any of these selections, you can skip any month at any time and you won't be charged. So it is perfect. They've also launched a new podcast called Virtual Book Tour, which is really fun. The selections for this month, there are six. So the first is The Wedding Dress Sewing Circle. Then we have Woman of Light, The Lifestyle, which is contemporary romance. The Lies I Tell, which is a thriller. The Stardust Thief, which is the first book in a new fantasy trilogy. And Things We Do in the Dark, which is a mystery thriller. My pick would be Woman of Light because this is historical fiction and it spans five generations of an indigenous Chicano family in the American West. I've never read a book like this before and I'm really intrigued in trying all new books lately. So this definitely has me excited. And also it's supposed to be very character driven. You know, I love my characters and apparently the characters are written fantastically. So yeah, hopefully I love this beautiful Book of the Month exclusive edition. So as always, beautiful selections. And if you want to get your first book for just $9.99, you can use my code with Chloe. So go to bookofthemonth.com, choose your book, use my code. That's an amazing price for a new release hardcover book. Amazing. So thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the next category. So, ow my arm. <laughs> I started doing pole dance and the strength that's required is insane and my arms are constantly killing me now. Anyway, first I think I'm gonna go through my books that I got in Korea. So if you didn't know, I went to Korea recently, which was incredible, got to see my family and stuff. I didn't vlog it, but I did film a Korea haul, so that will be coming up on my channel soon. So I'm not gonna to talk too much about these books because I talk about them more in detail in that video, but I did wanna show you them because I just need to talk about these books multiple times, like they're beautiful. So I got <laughs> These editions, well, the Korean editions of Junji Ito's Tommy and Sensa. Beautiful, beautiful covers, very different to the editions I have. And when I saw them, I was blown away because I'd never seen the Korean editions before. And I just absolutely love them. Like, they're so different. And I'm just so happy to have them in my Junji Ito collection now. Ooh. <laughs> then I got the Korean edition of The Little Prince. And it is this really cute little paperback and it has the full color illustrations, which makes me very happy. And if you don't know, I adore The Little Prince. It's one of my favorite stories and I would love to read it in Korean. So I'm really, really happy to have this. This makes me so happy. Orin Wangja. And lastly, I got Alice in Wonderland. And when I saw this edition, I was like, Absolutely, because it has the movie illustrations. And if you don't know, I love Alice Wonderland, but I actually like love the animated Disney movie the most. I do love the book, but the animated movie is where my love originated. And this is such a beautiful edition. Like all the illustrations, absolutely stunning. So of course, once again, this would be so nice to read in Korean, so very happy to have this. There goes Bill. Okay, you might as well stick to the travel theme. So now here are some books that I got when I went to New Zealand in, when did I go? April. So I went to visit my Caitlin Bunny and she bought me It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, which is one of her favorite romance books that she's been telling me to read for a while now. And actually a lot of you have been telling me to read this for a while now too. And she was like, no, it's like, you need to read it, so she got it for me. <laughs> and I'm so 
Oh, I forgot about the little message. No. I actually have read this now. I didn't read the physical copy because I read it on my Kindle because when I went to Korea, I suddenly got the urge to read this and I didn't have it on me. So I just read it on my Kindle, but I loved it. <laughs> like it was so fun. It's basically a romance between this socialite. She lives in LA and she's forced to move to this small town for a bit. This like small fishing town. So it's very different to her usual life. And then she meets this fisherman and a romance blossoms and it was so fun like in the beginning i was kind of like mm, not sure about this but then it really turned into something special and the romance is just stunning really really sweet and steamy and fun and nice <laughs> so yeah definitely a really great romance in my opinion and i'm very happy that i have the physical copy because caitlin and i do plan to reread it together and we will be annotating and stuff so that will be very fun so yes so thankful to caitlin and to this book and to romance welcome to vegas baby and the rest of the books i did talk about in my new zealand vlogs so i'm not going to talk about them too much but I got The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare, which is a really, well, I was gonna say really fun, I haven't read it yet, but it's a fun like edition and it's historical romance, which I've definitely been getting into. So very exciting. And Caitlin had read this and she was like, you will definitely love it. So that's why I got this one. But then I also got Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare, which I read when I was in New Zealand and loved it, really fun. Wasn't like obsessed. I think I gave it three stars, but definitely a fun time. Oh, I have a dog here in here. This was life, bright, brilliant life amid the ruins. Definitely an amazing quote. I just find these cute little romance paperbacks so fun and I'm so happy that I own some now. Like, how fun is that? <laughs> then I got some poetry. So I got Her Story by Jay Strilu and this was amazing. I read it when I was in New Zealand. Oh! <laughs> I forgot my little card from Caitlin's in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot I wrote something in here. Bought this on 20th of April at the Next Chapter bookshop in Wanaka, New Zealand with Caitlin Bunny. We were in Wanaka for around an hour, saw the gorgeous Lake Wanaka, went to some bookshops, did the hoedown throwdown and left perfect day. Also, the worker said this book is only stocked at that bookstore and a bookstore in Christchurch. How special. Yes, yeah, so this is written by a New Zealand poet and I saw the cover. Actually, I think I saw the title and I was like, oh, her story, okay. I always want to know about her story. And then I saw the cover and I was like, that's beautiful. And then I read the back. Just as in the morning, we welcome the sun and then in the evening, we adore the moon. I'm learning how to see the stars in my darkness and cherish my own light. As soon as I read that, Caitlin's like, that's you. And I was like, that's me. Like, this is definitely the type of book that I would love. So I got it and I'm so happy I did because I loved it a lot. It's basically told in four parts. So we have her heartbreak, her survival, her love and her healing. I related to a lot. I was inspired by a lot of these words. I really really loved it so yeah this is very special then i got two books by this moldy poet who is tai Sibyl. so i got pocahongatus and rangi kura and haven't read them yet i thought i would have by now why haven't i i don't know but i'm very excited and i really am obsessed with the art on these covers like amazing. This one is a collection that speaks about beauty, activism, power, and popular culture with compelling guile, a darkness, a deep understanding, and sensuality. And this says that these poems live in the space between the end of the world and a new day. They ask us to think about our relationship to desire and exploitation. They are both nostalgic for and exhausted by the pursuit of an endless summer. These both just sound like I'm definitely gonna love them, so I'm sure I will, and I will obviously report back. Okay, so now just moving on to general like fiction that I've bought. Actually, the first one I didn't buy, I was sent this. So thank you to Bloomsbury for sending this to me. This is Ghost Lover by Lisa Tadeo. And this is actually a collection of short stories. And I was really intrigued by this because it says that in these 12 riveting stories, Lisa Tadeo brings to life the fever of obsession, the blindness of love, and the mania of grief. All topics that I love to read about, so very exciting the future is female yep that's what i see and that's what i love to see also just like the title ghost lover love it and then how fun is the spine and actually the back yeah this whole book it's really pretty then i got the bell jar by sylvia plath which is for a video 
And then I got The Feminine Mystique, which is for that same video. Can you guess the video? It'll be coming this month. Then I bought Nausea, and this I saw on TikTok. And basically, this is a book on existentialism. And it's basically about a French writer who is horrified at his own existence. And as soon as I read that, I was like, oh, absolutely. Like, I'm constantly questioning the meaning of life and everything. So I love reading about existentialism and, you know, just that sentence alone. You've sold me, so I'm very intrigued about this. Then I got Acts of Desperation by Megan Nolan, and this is the beautiful hardcover, which I just love. I actually already have the paperback that I was sent a while ago now, and I'm actually currently reading this book. I'm like halfway through, and it is 100% going to be one of my new favorite books. I've been reading it for a few months now with Caitlin, and we've been bunny reading it for literally so long. I think we started it in January, and I swear, like every few days, we're just like, how the hell have we not finished this book yet? It's just ridiculous because we're both like, obsessed with it but it's just very intense and sometimes after a long day of work we don't want to be horrified at how hard this hits and yeah it's just very intense because it's an anti-romance it's very honest it can be hard to read like i said so yeah that's why we haven't finished it yet but i really hope that we can finish it this month because it's just getting ridiculous and like i said i'm loving this but yeah i bought this edition because i was loving it so much and i actually prefer this to the other edition that i had and i knew it was going to be a new favorite so i just thought okay i'm gonna get this and I actually had to like transfer all my annotations, <laughs> which actually took a while, but it was kind of fun because I got to revisit these words. But yeah, so hopefully you will see me finishing this soon. It is incredible so far. And this is also her debut novel. So Megan Nolan is already on my list of favorite authors. Like literally so happy that I get to, you know, join her on this journey from the beginning and can't wait for her next novel already. Yeah, sorry, I've got to say it is about the seductive destruction of trying to find self-worth in the gaze of another. So it can be a lot because it's just very like, ooh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Then I bought Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake. And this is actually the self-published edition, which I'm so happy that I got because it's actually being traditionally published now, so you can no longer buy this. And this is the new cover, and no offense, I'm not a huge fan. I definitely prefer this, so I'm happy that I got this while I could. And this is really, really popular on TikTok, and it's basically a romance, and it's supposed to break you. You know I love a romance. You know I love books that break me. So I was like, Okay, fine. And also, like, some of the quotes that I saw. Wow. And I'm actually planning to read this this month, so I'm very excited to see what I think. And then I got this stationery shop, and I am so excited to read this. This is supposed to be a beautiful, beautiful story, and it illuminates how love is experienced over time and influenced by the fingerprints of others. Yet despite every obstacle, the power of heart and memory endures. So basically, this follows Roya, who was a teenager living in 1953, Tehran, and Roya finds a literary oasis in Mr. Farkri's neighborhood stationery shop. And Mr. Farkri introduces her to his other favorite customer, Handsome Barman, who has a burning passion for justice and a love for Rumi's poetry and if you know me you know I love Rumi so I of course was like anything to do with Rumi yeah <laughs> and also it's just like how cute does that sound it says Aurora loses her heart at once their relationship blossoms and the little stationery shop remains their favorite place in all of Toronto but then violence erupts and they are like torn away from each other and then 60 years later they reunite I believe so yeah really really hope to get to this soon I really think I'm gonna love it and cannot wait then I bought this beautiful edition of Electra by Jennifer Saint, which is Jennifer Saint's newest novel. Jennifer Saint wrote Ariadne, which I read early this year and absolutely fell in love with. Definitely one of my favorite books. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So of course, so excited to read her newest novel. And this is actually Caitlin's Patreon and Buddy Read book for this month. So of course I plan to read it with everyone there and I'm so excited. So basically this is another Greek mythology retelling and I got this edition off Blackwells. So it's signed by the author. It is a really beautiful hardback. Look at the end papers. And yes, it is signed by Jennifer Saint. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I know my own passion, it escapes me not, but never will I cease from sore lament while I look on the trembling rain of the bright stars or on this light of day for if the hapless dead lie in dust and nothingness while the slayers pay not with blood for blood all regard for man all fear of heaven will vanish from the earth 
Oh, I can't wait for the magic. I literally am so excited. Okay, then I have some non-fiction books. So first I got The Mountain Is You, and one of my patrons actually recommended this to me. They said I would love it. And this is a book about self-sabotage. Why we do it, when we do it, and how we stop doing it. And I'm definitely in my non-fiction era, and this definitely sounds like something I would love. So I'm very excited about this. Cool. Then I got The Power of Attachment, which if you haven't heard me talk about Attached, you're probably new here. <laughs> but yeah, I love Attached. I love learning about the different attachment styles and how that knowledge helps me to navigate relationships in all forms. So I looked up some more books on attachment styles and attachment theory. This was one of the most popular ones and it has really good reviews. So it's basically about how to create deep and lasting intimate relationships. Then I got How to Do the Work, and this is by Dr. Nicole LaPera, who is the holistic psychologist on Instagram. So I've been following the holistic psychologist for a while now, I absolutely love her posts. And this is her book that she's published, and I was like, okay, I should finally get it. This is basically about how to recognize your patterns, heal from your past, and create yourself. So I'm always trying to work on myself, dig into my trauma, understand why I am the way I am, heal my inner child, all of that. So hopefully well I know that this will definitely be beneficial so I'm really excited okay the last category is poetry so I have some beautiful poetry books here so the one I'm most excited about is Time as a Mother by Ocean Vong which is Ocean Vong's newest collection and I actually can't believe I haven't read this yet because as soon as I got it I just put it into my pile of like books that I needed to haul but I'm a bit shocked that I haven't read it <laughs> if you don't know I love Ocean Vong so I'm sure I'm gonna love this in this collection Ocean Vong searches for life among the aftershocks of his mother's death then I got Teaching My Mother How to Give Birth by Warson Shire. This is really thin, really, really thin. Really cute little poetry book. I've heard really great things about her poetry. I've heard also mixed things because I think it's definitely like not gonna be for everyone. And it's supposed to be very like disturbing, but I'm very excited to see what I think. And then I also got Warson Shire's newest poetry collection as well, which is Bless the Daughter Raised by a Voice in Her Head. And this contains poems of migration, womanhood, trauma, and resilience. And then I got Yesterday I Was the Moon and When I Was by some poetry this came up as like a suggested one and I looked into it and it seemed really stunning so basically this has poems about art heart people home you courage self-love strength culture acceptance survival all things I love oh we have some stunning illustrations isn't it breathtakingly beautiful how you've learned to grow flowers from the memories that died a long time ago? Oh, I don't you just love poetry? Poetry just makes me feel so alive. Wow. Thank you, poetry. Then I got Post-Colonial Love Poem by Natalie Diaz. And this is basically an anthem of desire against erasure. And I saw lots of good reviews on it, so I'm very excited. Then I got When I Grow Up, I Want to Be a List of Further Possibilities by Chen Chen. And this is written by an Asian American and it comes from an immigrant and queer perspective. So I definitely am very excited. Once again, heard amazing things. And lastly, I got to Mixed Feelings, which is poems and stories and it's basically about what it's like being a mixed race person in a world obsessed with racial identity and I am mixed race myself so I'm sure I will relate a lot to this and I am very excited. On the back it says I'm not half of anything I am a full being and it's also like really pretty as well like lots of fun illustrations so I'm really really excited about this. So yeah, lots of exciting books in this book haul. I literally just feel so full just talking about them. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much once again to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. And don't forget you can get your first book for just $9.99 by going to bookofthemonth.com and using my code with Chloe. If you're looking for more content from me, I have a Patreon where I upload extra content like extra reading vlogs. We do a monthly live show. We do a monthly body read. This month's body read is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Incredible book. That's always linked below. I also have my socials linked below, including my Twitch, twitch.tv slash game with Chloe and that is where I stream games and just chatting. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you're all having a good day or night and I will see you in my next one. Bye.